Hey, I'm Rich Swingle, and I am praying through the Broadway community. The houses have been darkened, the theaters have been darkened by the lockdowns, and it is our prayer as we go through Broadway, theater by theater, to pray that as they are resurrected, that there will be eternal life flowing through the storylines, through the actors, through the producers, directors. And so today, uh, and just before I say this, I want to say that this morning in my reading, in my scripture reading, I was in the story of David and Goliath. And so it is my prayer that the Davids of Christianity, perceived by the world as Davids, would rise up and take down the Goliaths that are taking over the world. The seven mountains of our culture are religion, family, education, government, media, business, and the arts. And so it is my prayer that the Davids take down these mountains and that they would be submitted to the Lord Jesus Christ. I, I learned from my bride, who is a trained counselor in her studies, she said that when somebody is affected emotionally, they take in the performing arts, they're affected emotionally, they go into that dark theater and they take in all of the messaging that the artist intends because their defenses are down and literally their frontal lobe is almost disconnected, uh, uh, putting up the intellectual arguments against messaging. The emotions bring that down and the messages, the messages that are a part of that play or that movie just flow into somebody's subconscious and they take them in. So we want to pray, Lord Jesus, that you would tear down these mountains in such a way that they are resurrected for your kingdom's glory, that believers, true believers in the Lord Jesus Christ would rise up, people who are unafraid of the giants. Perfect love casts out fear. Lord Jesus, I pray that you would raise up those who have your love flowing through them, fearless, to take roles but say, I can't do this or I can't do that, or just to turn down projects because it has a message that they don't believe in. And Father, I pray for a respect to go out for those people. I pray you would raise them up to the highest levels. And I pray it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And today we are at the Ethel Barrymore Theater. I came here because the Helen Hayes Theater, where I had an office for 16 years, was at the time the only theater named after a woman. And then the Roundabout Theater bought it, kicked us out, we no longer have a, an office there. But the worst thing they did was they took off the name Helen. And it's just the Hayes Theater. So no one knows it was named after a woman. So I came here to the Ethel Barrymore Theater and check it out. It is now the Barrymore Theater. They've taken off the woman's name here too. There just seems to be a war on women these days. And so Lord Jesus, I just pray that there would be a return of respect for women in the performing arts and in every one of the mountains of influence on our society, that women would be honored, cherished, treasured. You created us in your image, male and female, you created us. And so, I also today want to pray for my friend Harvey Johnson, who reached out recently. I met Harvey through Christians in Theater Arts, and Harvey and I worked together at the Masterworks Theater Program for a couple of years. He directed a couple of plays there, and uh, just a joy, just a joy to work with him, and a joy yesterday to get caught up and hear his heart, what's going on now with his ministry, Doma, which means gifts. And it's a Greek word for gifts. And so his whole goal is to renew the gifts in the Lord Jesus Christ. His mission statement with DOMA is committed to the manifestation of the arts in the kingdom of God. And he cites Revelation 11:15. The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ. And he shall reign forever and ever and ever. And so I just pray your holy anointing on Harvey and Doma. Just pray, Father, that you would flow through them, raise them up for the, your kingdom purposes. Lord God, I thank you for his prayer room for the artist and the, the 
the messaging that he's bringing through this new ministry of his. I pray that many hearts would be touched. I thank you for his most recent uh, lesson on idolatry. Lord Jesus, the artists need to hear this. We need to lay down idolatry. We need to lay it down so we're not afraid to make the hard choices in our work. And smash those idols, Father. I pray that artists would, would listen to your still small voice and not the loud clamoring voice of the casting directors and the agents who want us to take roles that you are not calling us to. And uh, I'm also wanting to pray today for Michael Edgar Myers. He posted on my page last week, what a wonderful discovery this prayer channel is to start the morning. Thank you for a new interpretation of Rich Drama, which is our website, richdrama.com. And Michael runs Kingdom Impact Theater Ministries. Here's their mission statement. Theater missionaries using performing arts to entertain, empower, and equip believers in Jesus Christ and introduce him to believers yet to follow. Michael, that is outstanding. And Father, I just want to pray into that. Leaders yet to follow, I'm sorry, believers yet to follow you. Such a powerful concept. And we just pray that you would raise them up, bring the mighty revival, bring the third great awakening that our nation needs. And we pray you would use Michael, that you would use Harvey, that would, you would use these Broadway theaters. And everyone praying right now who's involved in the performing arts, raise us up, Lord, we pray. And Michael and Kingdom Impact Theater Ministries are supported under the umbrella of Artists in Christian Testimony, run by my friend Byron Spradlin. And so, Father, I just want to thank you for Byron and his vision to uh, equip and empower the theater artists and, and performing artists of every kind who need a, uh, a way for people to give a tax-deductible donation and, and don't want to start a nonprofit organization. They can just come under his umbrella. I thank you for that ministry, Lord, and just pray that you would bless him and put your holy anointing on all of the artists that are under that umbrella. And we pray it in Jesus' name. 